every minute there are 2.8 million waste masks in the world and every minute there are 9.58 kilograms waste from COVID patients in Indonesia hello everyone my name is Ilham Subandoro representing Institut Teknologi Bandung for Pemilihan Mahasiswa Berprestasi Nasional 2021 on this fine occasion I would like to share with you one of the burning issues in Indonesia the enormous number of medical mass waste generated during COVID-19 pandemic that has reached over 1.8 million kilograms by now the Minister of Environment and Forestry Siti Nurbaya stated that the number of medical waste in Indonesia results from healthcare facilities hospital emergency, isolation places, self-quarantine, and vaccinations. And all of these waste belong to hazardous and toxic substances or B3 classification. That means dangerous and toxic. In reality, the components of this B3 waste are masks, use IV bags, vaccine bottles, PCR test instruments, hazmat suits, face shields and syringes the majority of medical waste come from java island with the increase was beyond reach 100 and 100 percent day to day the number of covid 19 medical waste increased significantly from march 2020 to july 2021 the rapid growing number of medical waste during pandemic has certainly broke two major problems which are human health and the land ecosystem on interview with Dr. Lang specialist Dewi Setiawati from Hermina Hospital Bandung we found that the depiling up medical waste in the soil will destroy its fertility and cause growth failure she added it will cause both soil and air pollution Pollutions will definitely lower the air quality in the area and affect human respiratory system. To deal with these problems and situation, the Indonesia Ministry of Environment and Forestry has issued Circular Letter Number no. 2 of 2020 concerning management of infectious waste and also household waste from handling COVID-19. This regulation requires all hospitals in Indonesia to be fully responsible for ensuring the safe of medical waste management, especially the ones come from COVID-19. In addition to that, to reduce the number of COVID-19 medical waste, the local government will also ask to participate in providing medical waste drop boxes from the household. Unfortunately, the Regional Congress coordination at the Ministry of Environment and Forestry found barriers and challenges in implementing this program. That's quite difficult to eliminate the medical waste in several areas and regions due to the limitation of the landfill sites. Other than that, the government still has to work hard in promoting recycling and protecting its people against harmful chemical substances in medical waste. As a result, these ways have grown uncontrollably, making it much more dangerous because it can generate sources of COVID-19 distributions. In the long run, to support SDGs number 15, I believe it will be beneficial to use autoclave devices to sterilize medical waste. They, they are then shredded, reducing their volume significantly and taken to a landfill. In the meantime, we all should work together and saving each other by using masks properly in public. Thank you so much.